We're going to finish up this semester by talking about solving systems of equations. Now, a system is just a set or a collection of equations. And in order to be a solution to a system, it has to be an ordered pair, for, for this case right here, it has to be an ordered pair that works for both of these equations. Now, we could go through the arduous process of guessing and checking to find the answer, but we have algebraic methods for solving these. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the substitution method and the elimination method. And then later on, we're going to be using our trusty graphing calculators to check our work. So in terms of graphing, because we've seen a lot of graphing this semester, a solution is going to be where these two graphs will intersect with each other. Now, clearly each of these is a linear equation, so we're looking at lines. And so we're just trying to find out where the lines are going to intersect, because at the intersection point, that's going to be where you have an ordered pair that works for both of those equations. So here's what the substitution method says. Uh, step one is to solve one of the equations for either variable. Now if you look here, both of these are solved for y. So that's a really good step and it's a great indication that we should use the substitution method as opposed to the elimination method that we're going to see a little bit later. Then you're going to substitute the equivalent expression into the other equation. Now what that means for us is that we're going to take say this guy right here, the 3x plus 14, and you see how it says that y equals that. And so what that means is that in this particular system, anytime I see y, I can replace y with 3x plus 14. We can make that, that substitution because these guys are the exact same. That means down here I see y, and so I can easily replace it with that 3x plus 14. So that's what step two says to do, is to make that substitution. Now, when you do your substituting, you always want to make sure that you use parentheses. So I'm going to replace the y with parentheses down here. I'm going to plug in 3x plus 14. And this is equal to 5x minus 38. Okay, so we just make a substitution. We replace this y right here with 3x plus 14 because at the very beginning we see that y equals 3x plus 14 so any other place that I see y I can make that substitution and once I have this this is just a nice linear equation for us to solve now here I don't really need the parentheses because it wasn't like there was a coefficient that I had to worry about so it's just 3x plus 14 is equal to 5x minus 38 all right so step 3 says to solve this equation well, that should be simple enough. I just need to move the variables to one side. So I'm going to move my x's over here to the right by subtracting 3x on both sides. And I'm going to move my constant to the other side. See, this is back when life was so simple, right? All right, so 14 and 38 gives me 52. 5x minus 3x is 2x. And we solve this. So divide both sides by 2. And we find out that x is equal to 26. And once we have that x equals 26, we need to understand that this is not my final answer. This is just part of my answer. As I mentioned at the top of the video, a solution is going to be an ordered pair that works for both of these equations, which means you have to find not just x, but you also have to find the y coordinate as well. And now that we know that x equals 26, we can plug it into either of these original equations to find y. So let's do this. Let's go back here to y is equal to 3x plus 14. And now I'm going to replace the x with 26 because that's what we said it was equal to. And we're just going to work this out. So let's see, 3 times 26 is 78, plus 14, and all together we get 92. Now, to ensure that we have the right answer, we can take 26 and plug it into the other equation just to verify that we still get 92. If we get something other than 92, then we know that we've done something wrong. Okay, so let's look at this. y is equal to 5x minus 38. And we said that x was equal to 26. So plug this in. 
And then we just do some arithmetic. So it multiply times five, divided by two, you get 13, and add zero. And 130 minus 38 is 92. So we were able to verify that 92 is going to come out for y no matter which equation we plug the 26 into. And so that means that our solution is going to be the ordered pair 26, 92. There we go. So in the next video, we're going to look at a couple more examples of using the substitution method, and then eventually we're going to move on to the elimination method.